Sarah, why did you need a grant? As part of my job, uh, research is really important. And one of the things that we're expected to do is to bring in money to the university. And so as a faculty member, I study tick-borne disease. And so I wanted to apply for grants in that area. And I've applied for quite a few and then received one through Grant Watch uh, through the Rita and Alex Hillman Foundation. So how did you come to find out about Grant Watch? I found out about GrantWatch.com because every time I was looking for a grant, Grant Watch would come up. <laughs> and I thought, why don't I just pay the fee and get what I need? And it's so easy to use. I mean, I just love it. And it comes into my email already set up. You know, here are the grants of interest to you in Texas, where I am. And I can just kind of scroll through it very easily and say, no, 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 no. Oh, this one looks interesting. Click on it, log in. And in two seconds, I can determine if that's a grant for me or not. And so how did Grant Watch actually help your research? So Grant Watch helped my research uh, because it's one, it's so easy to use, but I have found a number of foundations and other funding agencies interested in my work. And that work entails uh, assessing tick-borne diseases and um, particularly tick-borne diseases among vulnerable populations. So we had a grant called Nursing in the Fields where we sent nurses and community health workers literally out to agricultural sites and um, fields to assess their the possibility they might have tick-borne diseases and also to inform them about the risks and about prevention. And so as part of that, even though they were not funding the research per se, we engaged in that program, but collected data along the way. And those data are now um, in progress. They're being analyzed and we're writing papers right now that will be submitted to peer-reviewed journals in the coming weeks. So it's funded my research in a number of ways and has helped my research agenda continue at the University of Texas at Dallas. Sarah, what advice would you give to someone who is interested in getting a grant? So I do have some advice. Um, one, I would say think outside of the box. The grant that I had was not necessarily for assessing tick-borne diseases. It was actually a foundation that ex um, worked with nurses and I used some nursing um, techniques and actually got some nursing textbooks out and read about some theories on nursing and applied those theories in my grant. So it, my grant application, it was really kind of outside of the box thinking and the way we implemented it. So that's one, there may be ways that, there may be grants that exist out there that you don't think exist, but if you're creative, um, you can make it work. So that would be one. And then two, I would say use online resources to help, um, especially if you're not an experienced grant writer. I love the, I think it's the uh, University of Canvas, uh, Kansas has something called the Community Toolbox. And if you're familiar with that, that's great. If not, you really should get on there and look because it gives you the tools you need to write grants, do strategic planning, evaluations, uh, developing smart objectives that are all of these things are these skills are usually required in grant writing and so using these types of online resources and I think GrantWatch also has some of these same types of online resources that help people write grants use that and, and kind of adopt the language that you see from GrantWatch and from these other sites so that you know um, you're writing it the way the funder would expect it to expect to see it um, and then another point I would say is ask an experienced grant writer to review your grant before you submit it. They will, somebody will be able to look at it and say, hey, 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 you have not written these objectives the way they should be written. This is how you should do it. And it's, that's a skill to develop. So use resources wherever you can. And then finally, I would say be patient. As I mentioned before, you don't get every grant. And if you're just starting out, you probably won't get one until maybe your fourth try or maybe your 10th try, but don't don't give up. Keep writing and keep using those resources to, to hone in your skills. It's not as hard as it appears.